Yeah, it's time. It's pretty rare I take my bike in for service. Um, I like to do everything myself. Uh, I do have plans for a new bike really soon. So for the most part, this is kind of like my practice run on, you know, doing things for the first time. Because on the next bike, I, I want everything to be done properly. I don't want to fuck up, right? So the problem I run into, uh, uh, so I, I've gone to a few different shops uh, recently, currently, I, I've been going to Chaparral in San Bernardino. I have not had a bad experience yet. The only experience, well, I, I, it could be bad, right? And a part of me, it's flattering, but a part of me, it's quite annoying, especially when I'm in a rush. Every time I go to Chaparral, they take longer than they need to. And the only reason I've been given is an apology. And the apology I get is like, sorry it took so long, the mechanics really liked your bike. And the first time that happened, I was just like, ah, cool, all right, yeah, no problem, man. Because I kind of came like, spur of the moment, and you know, they weren't ready and all that shit, and it, that's fine. And then the second time I went back, and I got my tires and I had my chain adjusted. The first time I went out, I got a new chain and sprockets. Um, I actually like waited in the waiting room and yeah, you just kept seeing people come off the floor and going straight to the back. I'm just like, what the fuck? So they just kept seeing them all go to the back one by one and it's just like, it's a big deal back there, right? And again, I'm not tooting my own horn, I I'm fully assuming. And then again, it took like an hour and a half for a fucking chain adjustment. Granted, I don't know how to do it myself, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't take that long. I mean, even if it was 30, 45 minutes because you got to factor in the actual processing, you know, scrapping, whatever, I get it. But hour and a half, come on guys. And again, it turned into an apology for the same thing. We're sorry it took so long. The mechanics really liked your bike. And I'm flattered. And after the second time, I'm just like, and after seeing all those people go back, they're like, holy fuck, they actually really do like my bike. So I noticed something the second time. And I, I didn't notice it the first time. But I noticed the miles that were put on my bike. Now, again, I I've already stated, I've never done a chain adjustment. I don't 100% know the process. I don't know if they put it on a stand and let this bitch move or what, what they're supposed to do. I know they take like, take like a test run around the block. But shit you not. Let me explain it. So the last time I went to Chaparral, right before I got to Chaparral in San Bernardino, my gas light came on. Now, I don't know about other bikes. My bike, when your gas light comes on, your your trip, it'll, it'll switch to a trip uh, and it'll start counting your miles up. It'll zero itself out and it'll count up. So you gotta keep track, right? Because a lot of people know, you know, 20 miles from my Elite, I'm, I'm good. So it counts up to give you a reference point. So last time I went to Chaparral, moments before I got to Chaparral, I, I, my gas light came on and that trip meter came on and I stopped and I filled up my tank and I never reset that trip meter usually I switch it back over to where it just shows my actual miles I don't use trip meters I got an actual ga uh, gas indicator I don't have a purpose to keep track of how many miles per gallon I get I go to a hitty and I fill up just like a car right so got the chaparral we did our walk through and they took my bike long story short and I know I keep beating around the bush which is dragging us on when I got my bike back after an hour and a half for a fucking chain adjustment and getting the same apology the mechanics really liked your fucking bike my trip meter and it has to be impossible showed a 700 and something miles 
It was at zero and it went to 700 and something fucking miles. So I'm like, shit, it had to be sitting on a rack because these motherfuckers did not go to Las Vegas and back an hour and a half. So I leave Chaparral. I don't go in and complain. I'm not one to complain. There, there's bigger things in life to worry about than letting little things get to you. So I'm leaving Chaparral and in the back they have uh, the employee parking lot. And a lot of people may not know this employee parking lot. I caught on quite a while ago that's employee parking lot because employees were coming out of the back of Chaparral and crossing over to the parking lot, right? Um, in that parking lot, there's at least, because they have motorcycle parking also, and there's, there's a variety of different bikes. It's not like new bike parking. It's clearly employee bikes. There's at least two FZ8s. Now, I don't see a lot of FZ8s, but two of them work there. And again, I'm not tooting my own horn, but they're nowhere near as clean as mine. So it made me fast believe, oh shit, the mechanics must really like my bike. Because compared to theirs, this is fucking awesome. But don't be a dick about it, you know what I mean? Like, I see nice bikes all the time. I don't fucking jump on them and go for a ride, right? Today's goal. Uh, I am going back to Chaparral and I'm gonna get a chain adjustment. I've had a chain adjustment in about seven or 8,000 miles. Um, mainly because I haven't really needed one. So what happened is about 8,000 8, miles ago, oh shit. The GGTR. Um, about 8,000 miles ago, I got my new chain. Well, I got a chain and new sprockets. And I had a dry spot in my chain. I didn't, I didn't know a lot about chain maintenance back then. So I wasn't taking care of my chain. But I got a chain sprocket, I got a fresh start. A thousand miles into it, I went and got new tires because I wasn't taking care of my tires. Like I said, this bike's kind of been a learning experience for me. After, I, when I got my tires, I figured might as well do a chain maintenance at the same time, which was dumb on my part. And it was fucked up on their part because I asked for my chain to be adjusted. And I was getting my tire changed. Naturally, when they put the tire back on, they would have had to adjust my chain. But I let them char charge me extra, because I'm that guy. <laughs> I've learned a lot in 8,000 miles. That shit ain't happening no more. Um, so my goal today was, I watch a lot of YouTubers, like, you know, Suburban Delinquent and the girl on her bike. I talk a lot about metric method. And it's a bike shop in uh, Orange County. And I, I get it, like, right, they're fully sponsored by them. They're, they're gonna have a positive opinion. But when I see them going in and out of there, the guys seem real helpful and real down to earth and like they wouldn't want you to pay extra for a fucking chain adjustment when you're getting your tires. So my goal was to go there and check them out because like I said, I'm getting a new bike uh, real soon and I'm gonna do a lot of work to it and I wanna find somebody I trust to not only finish the work on this one, but to continue the work on the other one. Granted where I live, it is a 52 mile ride. But it was going to be my ride of the day. And due to how late I'm getting in the day, I decided it's going to have to wait till another time. So we are going to do the one for more convenient, go to Chaparral, let them adjust my chain. Whoops, I'm in the wrong lane. It's technically service on the other side. I want to see what all the bikes are about up front. We here. It's my mom. 
miles at? 23,976. It's a little better. Could have been wiped down the chain. I do a better job at cleaning, guys. Come on. All right. 23,976. Fuck, man. I got my mirrors all dirty. The recommendation by the mechanic. It's my clutch sleeve. I knew about that, right? It fell out somewhere. And then, like, now my clutch cable, see? FZA. I can't believe they got my mirror dirty, man. Let's see if I could clean it before this light turns. What the fuck happened here? That had to just happen. Oh, no. Better start paying attention. There's gonna be another accident. God, that mirror is gonna bother me. So I know my battery's about to die. We'll conclude today there. Thank you for coming along with me for my chain adjustment. It helped me get through the boredom for sure. I feel like I gotta go home and re-clean this thing. But, whatever. Like, comment if you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I have no idea when that's gonna be. But I'll see you there.